In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D bar graph slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option with 40% 40, 40 you can add some icon and detail text and here you can add the option number and the title. When I click, it will show me with different color combination. The second option with 60%, the third option with 80%, fourth with 70 and fifth with 55%. So depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these percentages or you can increase or decrease the bar graphs as well please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the diamond shape. Click the diamond shape here. Make sure the shape outline is no outline. Then I'm going to make height as 0.91 and width as 1.62. And let me just make sure that it is aligned center and I'm going to drag it down. A little bit like maybe till here then hold the control shift key how much height you need for a bar you can just uh, put it like that so I'm going to just put up maybe this much size at the top and maybe a little bit at the bottom sorry okay the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with the help of a rectangle so it looks kind of a 3d bar for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the center here you can see of the top diamond shape to the center of the bottom bottom uh, this uh, diamond shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some different color and make sure that all this i'm selecting right mouse click go to the format object under fill make it maybe transparent to 20 percent to find out okay that means we have done it properly so let me just zoom in and we can check if there's any outside of this area sometimes what happens here is it will be like this which will not uh, be good for when we are going to add more bars okay so make sure that it is properly aligned at the top and at the bottom you can see here the bottom is not correct so i have to just make it align properly in the center all right so once this is done i can hold the control shift key and i can add it two more to the left and two more to the right all right or depending on the requirement how many you want how many bars you can just add it okay so you can see here i have added five now depending on the requirement i can adjust the height of this one width will remain same so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this down sorry i'm going to drag this down maybe this much size and here also i'm going to make it like this so here again this one i'm going to draw make it more down and here I'm going to make it like this okay again we need to align it remember that one so now this one just a little bit okay and here again put it like this and for this maybe a somewhat I think yeah, this is okay again depending on the requirement again depending on the percentage if the percentage is high for this one you can make this bigger if the percentage is high for this one you can make it bigger for this one okay so let me just check whether are we following the right you can see here this is perfectly all right the second one is also from the top it's all right the third already we checked before i think this is also okay and this is also okay yeah and again the bottom also we have to just make sure that it is properly done it looks fine to me the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into half okay for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle okay like this yeah only for the this top bar shape outline make it no outline and here also i'm going to make it transparent and i'll keep it press ctrl d this one separately for my later use so next thing what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the diamond shape at the bottom 
hold the shift key select the rectangle and click on the top diamond shape okay i have selected this one then hold the shift key select this rectangle also go to the merge shape and say fragment i'll delete this one i don't need and you can see here one two three four i've got different uh, this one all right so now what i'm going to do now let me just select this one shape fill any dark color you can choose here okay and here i'm going to choose some light color so you can see here it looks kind of a 3d and for this also what you can do i can just select this one and again i'm going to select the dark colors you can see here and for this also i'm going to select the light colors this one and this one which is our light color right and here i'm going to choose for the top one all these four i'm going to choose as a white color or yeah, make it white and press ctrl g to group it okay here also you can group it this one this one and this one ctrl g to group it this 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 ctrl g to group it so you can see here i have got one shape one shape one shape and bottom there's nothing okay so let me just undo this one now similar in the similar fashion i need to cut this the remaining also again i'm going to select this one press ctrl d bring it to the next one make sure it is again should not be like this here make sure it is from the center okay and again i'm going to do the same thing let me just select this one hold the shift key this one this one and this one go to the shape format merge shape make it a fragment i don't want this one so now this 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 shape fill you can give some dark and light color combination so here i'm selecting dark green this one this one this one i'm selecting lighter green and this one this four i will group it Control g and i'm going to give a white color here so you can see here how we are doing again make sure that whatever we are doing there should not be any transparency okay if i click this one the transparency we have to remove it remember that okay for this and this also there should not be any transparency this one this one no transparency so you can see here they have no transparency the same thing we have to do it here now already we did this one this one this one and this one remove the transparency make it more greener and this also no transparency All right so now my second ob object, I mean second bar is also done. Let me just do with the third, fourth also. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing and then we'll see the next step. So as you can see here, I have changed the color for all the bars. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some percentage to so go to insert text box. Here I'm going to say this is 90% the very first one, the big one, the center one and i'm going to use the font arial black it is more visible increase the size if you want maybe 28 and put it here and this one it's not aligned properly with this one so what we need to do is we have got shape options and text options remember we are working with uh, text means we have to select the text options if you're working with any object or any uh, circle or oval shape or whatever that is called object so you can work with the shapes okay so for now let me just go to the text options you can go to the text effects under the 3d rotation presets you need to select which one will best fit for us let me just choose this one i think this is okay or if i try like this no this is not okay so i'm i'm going to go with parallel isometric right up okay and here if you want you can just make it a white font up to you press ctrl d to duplicate and this could be say uh, 75 percent all right and here ctrl d bring it here this could be say 60 percent all right then i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d this is maybe a uh, 40 percent i'm just giving some random numbers here and this is this could be like 35 percent or 30 percent all right so you can see here i have added the the percentage on the bars and then go to insert icons 
So depending on the requirement, you can just add any icon of your choice. It takes a while to load the icons. If you have icons uh, from your local PC also, you can just choose. Uh, so today I don't know what's happening here. It is not coming up. Let me just close again and try once again. Yeah, it worked now. So let me just choose some random icons. Maybe this one icon, this one, this one. We need five, oh, remember? Okay, so five, I have added five now. This has inserted five and here maybe the height and width I'm going to make it as 0 0.6 and then on each one I'm just going to place it like this. You can see here. Now again if you want uh, you can just give some uh, format this one which is a 3D format you can give or if you want you can keep it like this also. So now I have to match the same color what the color I have used here, okay? Either go to the more colors, eyedropper and just select the color here, okay? This one again with the help of uh, eye, eyedropper, All right? Graphic format, eyedropper, I'm going to choose this one. This is straightforward green, I'm choose from here. This is orange, I'll choose from here, all right? Once this is done, you can go to insert text box and add the title, center align, make it bold, and then you can add some detailed text. All right, again, the center align, reduce the font size. Maybe I'm going to give some gray color only and I'm going to add it here. Again, make sure this is align center. Control G to group it. Bring it here, Control D. Add one by one to this one. Control D again. All right. You can add some text like this, or if you want, you can add some text here also. For this, we need to add some different shapes to give kind of a perspective look. So let's do that one now. So I'm just going to add one rectangle. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle. Again, the rectangle is of the same size what we have used at the top. Okay. Shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to give some gray color. All right, let me just zoom in and make sure that this is properly, sorry, this is properly aligned. So you can see here there's some gaps. So that's the reason we have to zoom in and check. All right. Or we can just simply use this one, but we have already split it. That's the reason I don't want to use. So next one, I want something like this. Okay. Uh, for that, go to insert shapes, basic shapes. I'm going to choose the right triangle. Draw the right triangle. Shape outline, no outline. Again, make it transparent, 30, 40, whatever percent rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and here it should start exactly at this point okay make sure that this one and this one align right okay then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d this shape and put it here all right so now what is happening now let me just zoom here also it's a time consuming job but once this is done it looks very uh, nice so now here again i'm going to align it properly so next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this rectangle hold the shift key select this triangle merge shapes i'm going to make it union so it becomes one shape like this can you see here then from this one to this one, before that one, let me just duplicate this one. I should have duplicated the other also. Anyway, so this one and this one, merge shape, subtract. So I end up getting a shape like this. But you see that this is not properly aligned here. So we have to redo the work and make sure that this is coming from this, touching this, the second bar, which is 40%. So I'm going to undo this part. All right. Let me just 
select this shape and increase further can you see here it has to touch this one and again this one also is not aligned properly so i have to align it properly and this is okay i believe so let me just select all these three shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and keep it aside now i'm going to select this shape and again make sure that this is properly touching this one there should not be any gap okay now i'm selecting this one and this one merge shapes union and this one merge shape subtract so i got a shape like this can you see here and again make sure that there should not be any extra lines or whatever so once this is done i will go and do the same thing to the next one so let me just select these three shapes press ctrl d to du uh, duplicate and again put it exactly align it properly then again i'm going to select this one and this one sorry this one and this one merge shapes union and this one subtract it okay but still you can see here there's some gap that we need to uh, properly we have not aligned that's what i can say but anyway this is not a showstopper press ctrl d to duplicate and come here and again make sure that this one and this one is properly aligned again i'm going to select this one and this one union and this one subtract but again you can see here i have not aligned properly we have to just zoom in and check it otherwise see you can see here this one and this one is not properly aligned so i have to just do some work on this part also yeah so i'll i'll just undo this part so let me just put it correctly and we have not align it properly also yeah and this also i have to just align it so let me just do it again shape format union this one subtract okay so i end up getting something like this but this uh, some gaps are coming make sure that those gaps should not come okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these three shapes send this to back and remove any transparency and here i'm going to give the same send to back and then i'll give the same color i can use some light color here you can see here the color or i can just use the eyedropper and use this color and here using the eyedropper i can use this color if you want you can just make it more lighter also i can just select this one go to the colors more colors i can make it more lighter also it depends on your requirement whether you want to keep the same dark color with this or you want to make it somewhat reduce it so better reduce it better that will look more cleaner okay you can see here and this also i'm going to reduce it all right the same thing we need to follow for these two as well so you can see here that we have added this uh, shadows also uh, which, which looks like a perspective look then i can just hide it somewhat from the top so go to here insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle again draw the right triangle and just reduce the height okay shape outline no outline and shape fill i'm going to use the same uh, background color okay it looks something like this and then go to the insert shapes select one oval shape draw one oval shape like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with black increase the transparency go to the effects under the soft adjust increase the size okay and put it here bring it tilt a little bit and send this to back so you can see here i've added the shadow effect also here if i play it looks something like this so once this is done again you can put the numbers here i can go insert text box i'll say zero one this time i'm going to be put some big numbers make it again aerial black increase the size okay and here i'm going to put it and now we need to see which what format it will suits best so go to the text options again go to the titles sorry uh, the effects 
and go to the 3d format sorry 3d rotation presets now we have to see which one looks best either this 0 1 or it should be like this you can see here we have got different one maybe this suits better so i'm just going to put it here press ctrl d this one will come here ctrl d this will come here here and one more here so now this is my second this is my third this is my fourth and this is the fifth so you can see here we have completed the design if you want you can add some text in this direction as well so the last part is to do the animation before that animation let me just zoom out a little bit i'm going to select this group okay you can see here all these things and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group and you can just send this to back also so remember that this is not uh, grouped properly so again i will undo this part and i will select this also and press ctrl g to group it so it's grouped perfectly all right now and for here and here also i can group it and this has come front i can just send this to back okay so the next thing is i'm going to select this one again make sure that all the text or the objects also the shapes also got selected and press ctrl g to group it this one is done so then this one and this one press ctrl g and send this back again let me just do this time the third one okay and press ctrl g to group it and this one and this one again ctrl g send to back now let's do this side here i'm selecting all ctrl g to group it and this one and this one ctrl g send this to back and then the last one this is a time consuming but worth doing that one okay and then this one and this one press ctrl g and send this to back now it's easy for me to do the animation so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the first one or if you want you can start from here the very first i can do add animation more entrance effect i can say maybe a wipe wipe it should come from bottom and then this one i'm going to select the animation add animation uh, stretch click ok stretch from bottom and that should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this can you see here so now i'm just going to copy the animation with the help of the animation painter so the next one is this one then here i'll select this sorry select this click on the second third one and this one animation then comes this part then select this animation then select this one and then we are done with the animation so let me just show you it comes like this the first one the second one the third one fourth and the fifth 